What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I was a bit surprised to see this today. Apple dropped iOS 9.3.2 Beta 3. Now it's very surprising because Apple doesn't usually go so far for such a small update. We usually see one or two betas, if any at all. You know, it's very unusual, but regardless, I wanna share with you what's new in this version, if there's anything new at all, how's the performance and which bugs were patched or fixed. So 9.3.2 in general is an update just you know to clean up some bugs and a little mess from 9.3.1, primarily a Game Center bug. Now, besides that, the last feature added in uh, previous firmware beta 2 was to allow night shift and low power mode to work simultaneously and i'm happy to report that it was not a bug it still works and is a feature in this latest version so that's something i was very happy to see uh, last version this time around i've been digging through it but i haven't been able to find any new features it's all under the hood so i wanted to go ahead and show you before and after updating i did have 3.3 available and after 3.4. So again, 100 megabytes of cached files were cleared. If you really want to clear up some storage, you can use the trick with the iTunes movie rental. It still works and you guys can get more storage using that. And uh, it's very simple. But what else has been patched or hasn't? So uh, Game Boy Advance, if you guys use this in my last video, I wanted to show you that it still does work. I was able to install it, download it in this latest version and it's still working. So you guys can play those classics. How about the speed bug? In the last video, I reported that it was patched. I wanna go ahead and try and do it again and see if, if that was an error, if I just wasn't able to trigger it or if it indeed has been patched. And I've had a lot of people tell me that it was not working on their 6S models. On an iPhone 6, it may have been working still but on newer models, the speed bug was no longer working. So I'm gonna go and try and trigger that real quick. And after trying this on the 6S and 6S Plus, this has indeed been patched, at least on these newer models. I haven't tried on the older ones, but on the iPhone 6, I heard it still works from a couple of people. A lot of you aren't even sad to see this go. I personally am. I thought it was a great way to remove animations completely, but you know, it is in the end a bug and something Apple does need to patch. So I am on the latest version of 9.3.2 here. Let's see if the landscape stutter bug has uh, been patched or if it's still there. Nope. And a lot of people aren't experiencing this either, but me on every large plus model that I've owned, I have this stutter in landscape and I don't know why it's just ever persistent. And so many people do as well. So very curious when Apple will finally patch that. And I wanted to see if the respring bug on uh, the home screen still works. So this is one that I personally found. So there we go. And boom, still works, latest beta, <laughs> kind of funny. Now, how's the speed? I'm very happy to report that it feels fantastic. I mean, springy, you know, it's very full of life. Now, if you guys had any glitches, any lag, UI lag, I'm happy to say that it is definitely improved on 9.3.2. Battery life, I can't say, you know, it just dropped, but people have been reporting that it is better. So if you were experiencing any issues with UI lag, definitely updating when it drops would be a good idea. As for Geekbench, I'm gonna run one real quick and I'll get back to you with the results versus the last beta. All right, and here are the results for beta three. And here is beta two. So noticeably, there is an improvement in both single and multi-core scores. And in general, this definitely reflects in the usability, the user experience, and it's definitely gonna be something noticeable if you're experiencing an issue before. Now, one last thing I wanted to address with you guys is the jailbreak. When, why, how, to be honest, the reason I don't make any updates at all on this is because there's nothing to share. I mean, I don't wanna be just spamming you with videos and have nothing to share with you guys. So in the end, right now, everybody's waiting. I don't know, guys, I, I'm losing hope, but we've waited longer than this in the past. The latest 9.1 jailbreak was a little glimmer of hope and then nothing, no word. Nothing. I can't say they're waiting on 9.3.2 because in the end, I don't know. That would just be a guess. I'm really, really hoping, but in the end, guys, you know, there's still hope for customizing our device somewhat. We can sideload applications, tweaks, which makes up for a little bit, but jailbreaking, it's, it's getting harder and harder. Apple has way more employees making sure their OS is secure versus the jailbreak teams, like two to five people. Obviously, it's going to be hard to find exploits when there are so many people Apple hired uh, making sure there are none, but there are people that have exploits, they just haven't shared them. So it gives me hope that someone can find something, but I don't wanna give you guys any false hope. This may be the last jailbreak we'll ever see. If it even comes out, who knows? But I cannot say all speculation, guys. I just hope it comes eventually. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Just a little update, 9.3.2, beta three. We should be seeing a full release here very, very soon. I mean, who knows? Maybe Apple will release another beta. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.
Peace.